Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out to release whatever needs to be released, let go of whatever needs to be let go, and going ahead and healing from the things that is meant to break you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video give is being very informative to you or even give you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend uh, please go ahead and share especially if they're going through uh, they need confirmation or validation towards their life path or you know their sole purpose please share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support I truly appreciate it and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video Today, my um, meditation music that I'm playing in the background is called Reiki Sleep Meditation. Reiki music for sleep, uh, healing sleep music, sleep meditation. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, oh my gosh, y'all. I hope y'all ready for this. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, all empaths are manifesting a multi a multiverse and omniverse within the June ascension heading towards the June ascension um, shift intensifies um if the we're having a June ascension let me turn this down a little bit so it's not drowning over me while I'm trying to talk uh, June June 6th through June 19th and I was just like great great <laughs> we just went through spring equinox. We had the crescent moon. Um, what else was it? The retrograde and all these different things that's going. I went to meditate and it's like uh, all these different things that was going on. And you know, I know yesterday, I know it was it Victor, uh, one of the YouTube, Victor uh, Otto or something like that. I forgot his name. You know, he's the one who one of the ones that got me started doing the things that I was doing and he had a video yesterday I didn't get a chance to watch it um because I was laying down and first I went to a nature walk and then I had to go lay down um all these different things are going on and I was wondering why everything was off and when I seen that come up I was like that's it you know um it was like yesterday I was talking to one of my um soul brothers yesterday and I told him I kept on hearing multiverse multiverse and I was like where have I heard that from and I remember the movie fifth element with uh with Chris Tucker Mila Mokovic or whatever her name is I love that chick off of, uh, Resident Evil and Bruce Willis and I love Bruce Willis too that's one of my favorite actors as well and all I see is like I'm seeing a whole bunch of empaths like in a circle and it's like they're fighting with their demons like you know you're purging you're letting go of all the things that has brought to affect you in so many ways the things that you have been working so hard for to be able to heal and let go and it's like it looked like the I mean it was it looked dark like we were going through some really like we were fighting with our inner demons like really bad and it was like I was standing over y'all and then it like I got in the middle and next thing you know y'all were sitting like this like the Indian style and then you just jumped up and went like this and all it's just like all energy just went flying and then and I keep on hearing multiverse, omniverse. Y'all are manifesting. I don't know what the heck y'all been doing. <laughs> but it's along me too. So I know I'm blamed too. All the stuff we have been purging and letting go with the energy that we're already currently carrying. It's like with the shift of the uh, planets that's already going. It's like, you know, it's, it's sending us a lot of energy. And then it's pulling a lot of energy back. Like I told y'all about this like probably about a month ago. But this stuff is intensified. 
Like I'm wondering why I'm breaking out again. I broke out again. Having hot and cold chills. Those are part of the, the things that we're going through. Being very sensitive. You're seeking solitude. Like you don't want to be bothered. Like, you know, I love I love talking to y'all. Y'all, you know, y'all, y'all my extended family. But if you have been reaching out to me and it's like I'm being kind of offish, it's not like I'm trying to be like that with you, because you know I'm usually not like that. I'll go beyond it you know, whatever, to talk to y'all when you ask me questions and stuff like that. But I'm purging so much and it's like, I don't need that energy, like your energy mess around with my energy. And it's like, you know, it'll clash. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like certain things is coming to you and I'm not trying to have my energy interrupt your, your blessings coming in. And there's things that's trying to come out on me and then going back so it's just like so many different things we're going through right now so if you've been having massive headaches body aches like you've been either in a fight or a car accident you've been very irritated uh sleepy um you're releasing a lot of things so you're probably you know you're you know i know i've been like telling the masses like you know universe i'm so grateful and i've been crying tears of joy because it's like i've released so much and i know that had something to do with me um having to deal with my mom's ex-husband and his wife and it's like all the people that i had to mend and get that closure from and that was just like really intense for me and it's like i've been excited but i've been emotional too because i've been carrying around that for so long because it's like like i told y'all you know it wasn't like i was lying or anything like that about me forgiving them because i did you know but i haven't seen them you know, I, I seen my adopted dad probably, what was it, like a year ago, like two days before my dad's anniversary. And I took my power back then, but I told him I didn't want to see his wife because I thought I was going to put a mud hole in her ass. So I told him, no, don't bring her. Please don't do that. You know, don't do that. But for me to be able to have both of them at one time and then had to deal with two extra people that I was still having issues with at that time, I had to deal with like four people along with my, my narcissistic ex. So that was five. <laughs> and I had to deal with that all at one time and had actually had a good time, enjoyed myself, you know, with the family and all that stuff. And then when it came to those two, I got my closure. And then, you know, I told y'all the other day, you know, he invited me, um, my mom's ex-husband invited me to his like barbecue. I guess he felt like, you know, we were, you know, we were mending things. So he wanted to invite me over. He was like, well, we haven't seen you in a long time. I want to. And I was like, uh, the last time you see me was the last time you were going to see me. That was closure. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you. You know, it's like, I can't trust you. I'll be thinking you're probably putting stuff in my food. You probably do that. Get out that thing with the cup. and try to hypnotize me. I don't got time for all that. Nope, 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 nope. So it's just like re being able to release that. I've been, you know, praying and you know, thanking my ancestors, my mom, my spirit guides, all of them pulled together to help me with that situation. And that was like overwhelming with joy because it's like when you know you have been through some abuse, like serious, serious abuse, and you're able to confront the person who's like a monster in your closet. When you're finally able to, you know, face that monster in your closet, you don't have no ill will no hate but don't love them either but you're you know you're trying to keep that peace within yourself and it's not like you're doing it because you're scared of them but you need your peace of mind you need that back you know and it was a beautiful thing for me to be able to look at them and not want to you know cause harm in any kind of way or you know because it is like the old Rosalind all the laid hands you know there'll probably been a couple of broken bones not mine you know or you know going getting cussed out and then having to find some bail money but that was like you know what this is not worth my time anymore I got better things that I'm trying to do in my life and I'm not putting my energy in you you know you are done took like about what is it like shoot it's almost close to 35 years of my life close to 35 years of my life that has been stolen from me for unhappiness. So I'm not, no, it was 25 years of my life, basically, if I want to give or take, you know? So that was a beautiful thing that I was purging out. So it's just like, I'm still in shock about that. Cause I'm like, dang, I'm proud of myself, you know? Cause it's like when, when somebody, you know, if you've been with me for a while and you know, everything that I've been through, you know, if people want to find out what I'm talking about, you know, going to my earlier videos when I'm talking about the grief of my father and all these different things that I had to endure, you know, of finding out who my father was and all that stuff. That was truly a blessing because my dad, I can hear my dad in my ear saying, baby, I am so proud of you. You did it. You know, you finally let go of that because he didn't want me to hold that in my heart, you know, because you can't be able to uh, let love and for 
you know, let room in for your love. And that's what you're doing. So you have been purging everything that has been sent your way as any kind of abuse that has messed you up emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually, physically, anything that is gonna affect your psyche or any kind of energy is brought unwanted energy. It's like right now is telling you you need to tell yourself and release it to the universe that you are releasing anything the energy that that you didn't you know that was forced upon you you are telling the universe i'm releasing the things that has been forced upon me you have every right to be happy you have every right to be emotionally and mentally free you know we're free but sometimes it's like we have been consumed with so much pain and anger and despair it allows you to be in that painful prison and it's hard to seek out from that you know, and it's just like when I can feel all y'all, you know, I get emotional because it's like I can feel all that energy coming like you want to heal, but you're still trying to find that answer, still trying to find that way. And it's even though you're getting the answers, but it's just sometimes it's hard to be able to separate that pain with that emotion. And it took a lot for me to do that. It took a lot. I mean, there. I mean, that day my daughter graduated, that it was like me graduating with her because I knew this is that my time to step up and show myself what you're capable of letting go of. And that was truly a blessing to me because that allowed me to know you have done everything up under the sun to either make me kill myself. You had people try to come hurt me. You had tried me set up. You know, all these things were coming into play, but it did not happen. It did not happen. You know, I have so much, you know, y'all send me blessings all the time. So that's protecting me as well as the ones that I place upon myself. You know, we're, we're at that point in life where we need to be free. Free from everything. It's just like I, when I tell y'all, I have visions of y'all like purging out everything that has held you down. And it's like we're rejoicing. It's like a big empath party after that. Because it's like if you... Uh, can imagine what I'm talking about it's like an empath circle of like a whole bunch of you know a whole bunch of empaths and they're fighting with their own demons because you're tired of dealing with them you know you ready to get to that next level because we all been ascending but it's just like there's certain it's like that still that that pain is still lingering around you know that pain is still lingering around and it's like I'm sitting standing right dead in the middle like with my hands up giving y'all this this positive energy it's like okay y'all it's time to go and then next you know you just you know you're already sitting like you you know back in school when they used to play duck duck goose that's why i can you know try to get you to uh under uh picture like you're sitting in duck duck goose and you're sitting there with your energy and style lotus positions and next thing you know when you said enough is enough it's like you suplex the day <laughs> you suplex your demons and they went flying up in the air and i was like pushing the energy energy of love towards y'all and you know i said we got this we have got it and it's just like so many things you have been purging and letting go but this between the 16th and the 19th if you can as much as you can you know you're going to experience and they're telling me different eye visions you've been having like my my head is like i, I talked to like two people and I told them my head feels like it is going to explode because I didn't really think I was going to do videos today. Having hot and cold chills. Uh, you might be a little bit aroused sexually. You could be like one of those sex mongers, monglers or whatever you want to talk about. You might be like sexually irritated. Like, you know, like, you know, took some, some, some sexual enhancement thing. Those things go a lot. Uh, let me see what else. Um, you're going to be sleepy. It's going to take you a long time. Even though you're going to be sleepy, it's going to be hard for you to go to sleep. Uh, you're purging a lot, so it might make you feel nauseous. I'm having a lot of stomach pains. Having back and neck pains as well, because the other day, it's like I'm getting ready to exercise, but it's just like my body is so stiff and so painful, I can't really deal with it. So you're going to go with all those things, and it's just like uh, your eyesight is changing. Like my eyes right now. <laughs> they changed color so it's just like going through all these different things you know I said I got my contacts on but it's just like they have enhanced like they look creepy enhanced I don't know if y'all can see them 
but they're like a lot lighter than they usually are but um you're gonna go through all this but it's just you have to be able to prepare yourself if you're having like these crazy off the wall dreams like you've been you know you've been tripping off of something like i never took acid in my life but it's just a lot of things it's just like this to me you know and it's just like weird dreams so if you're just having very intense dreams more than you usually do um headaches irritability you're seeking more solitude like i said you know i love doing the one-on-one -on -one counseling with y'all that's what i'm there for because i told y'all that but if it's just like when that energy is like very strong and i know uh my love bugs y'all are so spiritually connected to me and if i'm like yes no maybe so uh go look at this up you know it's not like i'm you know i'm doing that to um be mean it's just the fact is I'm trying to protect myself from your energy and your energy from my energy. So it's just like, you know, I want to be there, but I can't, you know, I can't not right now. So we're going through all these different things. But if you still do need to communicate with me, that's also fine. But please, I have to keep telling people Eastern Standard Time, 945, the latest is 945. Because it's like, since my daughter is not going to school anymore, you know, I don't have to get up early. So, uh, 9.45 Eastern Standard Time. Because, like, right now, it's like 6.41. So, it's going to take probably about, you know, it's going to probably come out raw 8, 9 o'clock tonight. But, 9.45, I mean, well, actually 10 o'clock. I'm going to say 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. 10.30 at night, Eastern Standard Time okay because it's like i've been having to tell people over and over again because some people want to sit up here and text me at three or four o'clock in the morning and i love talking to y'all but especially if you have significant others i don't need that because that's disrespect and i don't want nobody thinking i'm trying to be drunk texting anybody in the middle of the night and need any drama or it's just boundaries for me you know because if i have to keep telling you and then you wake up next thing you know you're about to text me and you're blocked you'll know why because I just had to block a couple of people yesterday because they text me at like six, seven o'clock in the morning and that really pissed me off. So I'm just like, I'm, that's why I'm letting you know. So um, I hope you are able to um, get everything worked out because I know we're going through some major ascension. I'm trying to hurry up and finish this because it's already 17 minutes long, but it'll be from the 16th to the 19th. So these are all the things you're probably currently dealing with. And if, if you are, it's still going to intensify, but it's going to end up being a blessing for you in disguise. So I'm not going to give it an outro, like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share, drop me a line and let me know if you're resonating. I'll see you later. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.